Hey there, this is Carmen and I am going to do a very quick tutorial on uh, putting in a call to action in any of your business related blog posts. Now I am using the Empower Network blogging platform. It is my platform of choice for business. I do have several blog sites under my Empower Network um, membership and uh, so if this is something that you want if you want to uh, create business blog posts more than one under one hosting platform empower network is it uh, you can go to the new happy me.com slash join and join as a member and you will see exactly what I see here so um, we can blog about pretty much anything but if we want people to interact with us if we want them to be able to uh, click on a button to link to something that we want them to opt into or to buy or to join into then we have to put a call to action if you put blog posts without calls to action then you're just creating a blog post that people will read for entertainment you're not really leading them into your business so it is very important to add a call to action so the way I'm going to do it now I'm going to add a YouTube video. I'm just going to show you how easy it is to create a blog post. I'm going to do one that's inspirational. Uh, I can put it in as a video, but I will choose because I want to put in a call to action uh, image. I am just choosing to put a text um, post instead. It's pretty much the same thing. You can put videos and text. That's fine. So this is where we're going. So I'm actually, I found this video right here in YouTube. Uh, it's called the Kid President's 20 Things We Should Say More Often. And uh, it's inspirational. It's a nice reminder for things that we should be saying on a regular basis. So this is the YouTube share link that I'm going to copy right here. And I'm going to go in here. I'm going to put a, a message title, um, 20 things to remember uh, from the mouth of a child. Let's just say that's what I'm going to write. I can change it later if I want to. So I go in here and I'll say, I'll put in some text. Um, here is a pretty cool video to inspire you today and I want to put in the video so I click on right here it says add media you can add an image a video or an audio we want to add a video embed from URL I'm just going to plug in the YouTube URL add media and there it is and so I go after I don't want it to start so we'll go after oops let's go want to go after the video there we go so I can get my cursor here below so I got my cursor below and I continue uh, did you like this video I bet you'd love the idea of sharing videos like this while making some extra money every month if you do love the idea click on the button below Okay, so I'm just going to show you one thing. A call to action can also be um, place your comments below, something like that that doesn't have a link. Um, I could have said here, uh, click on this link now. So let's say if that's what I wrote, click on this link now, I would just have to highlight this and go to the link icon here and put in the link so just to show you and I'm going to use this link here this is the join for Empower Network I'm going to highlight this um, if you are in Empower Network already watching this tutorial it's empowernetwork.com slash join question mark ID equals your uh, username so that's what it is you can use your own mine is the new happy me so I go back here and I click on the link 
and I just place it in there. I usually open link in a new tab because I don't want them to lose sight of my website, of my blog site, so I do OK. And see, that has the link in it. So if you don't want to be putting an image, you can actually be putting a link, but always a call to action where you want them to click. So uh, you know what I'll do? Click on the Click on the button below or I'll say click on this link now. So I'll put both. And then I'm going to go down and I, I want to put an image that people can click on. So it's the same thing. I'm going to put in an image over here. But before I put in an image, Im, an image I want to find an image that is cool. I now have some in my gallery, but let's just pretend you don't have any yet. So you go to Google and you say, uh, I want to pick one from Empower Network just so that I know I can share them. Empower Network click here button and you go to images and you have a whole bunch of click here buttons right here you can have empower network start here register now start earning a hundred percent commissions uh, click here to continue show me more you have all these things you can you can um, uh, do a search by uh, I don't know, um, register now instead of click here. You can have any anything that you want. So uh, I'm just going to go ahead. Let's, let's do this one. This one looks nice. Take action today. Start living your dream now. It may not be completely relevant. Actually, you know what? I want it more relevant to the blog post that um, here. This one's nice. This is awesome. I'm in. I like this one. So I'm going to choose this one. I'm, I'm just going to save it save an image as I'm on a PC by the way there are different ways of doing it on your um, on your uh, Mac if you have a back Mac so this is awesome I'm in register uh, now button so I'm just gonna save that okay so now you need to know though that when you go into the Empower Network site let's say I were to take this as a photo so that's an image upload from my computer I need my pictures to be 265 by 265 pixels so where was that button looking for that button I don't even remember what I called it because I was talking there it is this is awesome I'm in register now so that's what it is see it says uh, the image needs to be at least 260 by 260 so I'm gonna cancel that and I'm going to show you what I do I open my actual picture um, it's in here And you can do one of two things. This is a bit small, so uh, making it larger will um, have it lose its its uh, resolution size. Oops, where did that go? Let's move this. So we're we're keeping this. So what you want to do here, uh, we can open it in. Microsoft Office Picture Manager and I'm going to show you what it looks like. This is what it looks like. Edit Pictures. We're going to see what size it is by clicking on Resize. And here you go. It's 603 by 163. I want to make it larger to fit 260. So I want to do Custom Width and Height um, I don't need it that big. We actually want it. I don't actually, I can't resize it. It has to be resized proportionately in here. So um, let's try this predefined. No, that's all proportionate. So um, I'm not going to be able to do this because I don't want it to uh, lose its pixel size. The, the uh, I don't want it to lose its resolution. I, I don't want to warp the the size. I don't want to make this bigger and lose the um, uh, lose the the quality of the picture. Now you'll see if I bring this up to 260, you're going to see what it looks like. There, it's 965 by 261. 
see it's it's much much bigger now at a hundred percent it's really very very big and it has lost a bit it's not so bad actually we can probably deal with that the other way of doing it though which I prefer sometimes is that I will open it in paint and I'm just going to open it on my other screen and show you what it looks like so it is a, an option you can resize it on your um, the photo manager but you can also resize it here in paint what I do is you see here it's at 600 here but I want to resize it down to 260 so I'll move it up down like this now it's for sure uh, more than 260 here it's more than 600 here I can make it shorter here I don't need it that long and then what I can do is either move, see you can move this, I'm not going to move it down because I don't need to, but you can actually move this to the center if that's something that you need to do, that's how you would move it around. So we'll just keep it like that and we'll save it. And now we know that it's more than 260 by 260. So we close that. I'm going to go back to media and re-upload the same image. Click here to browse in the computer and I'm gonna go in where it was right here and it's done it's right there so add media it's right here see so what you want to do though now this is just an image it doesn't take you anywhere so what you want to do is click on it to highlight it and then add the link to this as well so what was my link here it was this right here so copy that link the join link and I'm going to plug it in there, open link on a new tab or window, and voila, it's done. So I'm going to go in here and finish this up. I'm going to make it a public blog in my Empower Network blog category. Let's call it fun stuff. And uh, SEO, I'm just going to leave it like that. I don't need to make this that long. Uh, you can change the SEO here. This is something that we have in Empower Network. And publish. And there you go. It's a pretty cool, very quick post. And how long did it take me to do it? Other than um, doing the tutorial, it probably would have taken me about five minutes to do with two calls to action. And let's see what it looks like right now. So we'll go into view and edit my blog. And you're going to see what my blog site looks like right here and see the blog post is right there the video is right there and the call to action right here as the link and you have the call to action as an image right here so when people click on it they go straight into the join page. I'm not going to open it now because it goes into my, because my my um, platform, my dashboard is open, it's going into my dashboard, but it would be going into there. It did go there. So, oh, and I wanted to show you actually, this is in the dashboard. I reopened it before just to show you. If you want people to go into your uh, opt-in pages, you have lead capture pages. Instead of the join page, if you want to have them become a lead in your list for you to give them more information, if that's more relevant to the blog post that you're writing, here under your account, my account right here, we'll just go into it lead capture you have all these lead capture pages that you can use and they're all already coded to your username or you can use this main one or if you want them just to join if that's relevant to your blog post then you just use the join question mark ID equals your username instead so that's what it looks like and it's all done the um, call to action is right there ready for your readers to click on and uh, that's it for today I hope the tutorial helped you and I hope that you will be creating many more blog posts and all of them with calls to action I'll see you soon